Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, exchange, Gligoric variation, 6.d4bg47.dxe5qxd18.rxd1fxe5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. Bxc6 captures the knight and forces doubled c pawns for black. Dxc6 recaptures the piece and allows the light squared bishop to develop, black has the bishop pair as compensation for the doubled c pawns. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. f6 defends the e5 pawn, but slightly weakens black's king side and the e6 square. d4 takes space in the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bg4 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f3. Dxe5 opens up the center, captures the e5 pawn and offers an exchange of queens. Qxd1 captures the white queen and enters an endgame where black has the bishop pair and white has the better pawn structure. Rxd1 recaptures the queen and takes control of the d-file. Fxe5 recaptures the e5 pawn and opens up the f6 square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to prevent castling. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.